Want an edge for betting the Super Bowl? Click the link in the description to download VSIN's free betting guide. Thomas Dimitrov is going to join us. You know him as a longtime general manager, 12 plus years in Atlanta. He's won two Super Bowls and he's got a new venture, Sumer Sports. He's the CEO. It's a football intelligence company offering innovative football solutions using data driven solutions. But I just want to point out what a great guy he is. <laughs> First off, he walked all the way traffic. He walked all the way up to the D. But I was listening, and Dustin, you know the show. I was listening to the Sports Junkies this week. And Thomas Dimitrov, it's a local radio show in, in Washington, D.C., he was doing a spot. And they said, hey, can you hold on? You're so good. He's like, well, I'm about to pick my daughter up or my son up from, from school. But he held on through the commercial, and he kept going with the boys. That is, it might be because you're Canadian, Thomas, but you're a great guy. I, are you Canadian? I just heard the boys. Of course you're Canadian, right? And I, and I was <laughs> proud of that. I could not believe that I actually said that, but but I was driving in Buckhead in Atlanta, and they, all the Buckhead women were flipping me off because I was trying to trying to be paying attention to the interview. So yeah, <laughs> no, that was it was just very charming. Well, first off, thank you for joining. Uh, Vegas and the Super Bowl. What does it mean to you as somebody that's been in the league forever? I, I think it's amazing that the Super Bowl is here, and I think it's it's a long time coming, as you know. Feeling the energy. Look, I think it's up to the general manager and the head coach to keep the players out of any issues, right? Limit the distractions. But what a spectacle it is here. You guys should be so proud to, to, to have it here, given, given your businesses and everything. I'm, I'm excited. Did you watch the uh, commissioner's uh, presser? We, we did. We discussed we did. it a little bit. Yeah. yeah what I, did you take from it? I'm not going to say. You guys, I'll, let, I'll let you guys say. You echo he was talking sentiments. about sports betting. <laughs> yes. And, and, he, and apparently he's interested in sports betting now. And we've heard different rhetoric for many years. For I'm many sure years, you yes. did as well in the front office. We did. Look, I, I, you know, I used to be scared straight, right? Back in the day. I, I never bet yeah. because I couldn't. We, you know, anyone in the league, you thought you'd be ostracized immediately. So Eric Eager took me to my first sports, well, I've been at a sports book before. I actually bet for the first time. I'm a little embarrassed to say that. Literally, like, I've bet many times in other ways, but betting in a sports book because I was so worried about getting caught doing that. I bet on a, a basketball game, the second half of the game, and they didn't want me to sit through the whole game because they didn't think I'd had the patience. So, <laughs> anyway. I, you know, I, you mentioned the betting aspect. Calvin Ridley, the situation, here's a theory I, I surmised. He's from South Florida. He was rehabbing. He's injured. He got bored, and he signed Signed up, and that bet instead of cost him a thousand dollars, cost him eleven million dollars. I don't think he makes that mistake if he's in the state of Georgia at the time. I think you're exactly right. Uh, look, I was blown away by that. Yeah. I'm saying, come on now, what, what are we talking about yeah. here? But again, like you said, eleven million dollars. Yeah. That's a that's an amazing that's an amazing situation. I love Calvin, by the way. Did you guys like him this year? Did you guys make any money off of him one way or another? Well, we thought Trevor <laughs> yes. Lawrence might be the problem. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Dimitrov joining us, of course. I'm just curious because you got Sumer Sports right now. Uh, you've got, you're young. You've got to be thinking about running another team, no? Every once in a while I do. I mean, I love being the CEO of Sumer Sports. There's a lot going on here. We believe it's revolutionary, right? And yet I get the knocks on the door every once in a while. T, are you coming back? Do you have any interest? No one's, I'm not saying anyone's offered me the GM job, but you, in the league you, you have to let it be known that you're still interested or – they believe you're somewhere else. And if I could say I was going to make $100 billion in this business, I would say you guys are nuts to even ask me. But, you know, it's, it's a startup. We're really excited about where we're going. So thanks for asking, though. I, I can see why you lasted in Atlanta a long time. Immediately meeting you, your personality, your presence, you're very engaging and very welcoming. That's part of the job. But tell me a little bit of some of the pressure that goes with it and the challenge of bringing in the guy, the head coach, because you hired Dan Quinn. He got hired in Washington. Tell me a little bit about what you saw from Seattle that drew you to bringing him in and obviously the Falcons making the Super Bowl. So look, you guys should know this. As a GM, what you want is you want to make sure you have a guy that you can work with, right? You want a hard ass, don't get me wrong, at, at a lot of levels, but you want a guy that's going to collaborate, right? You want a guy that's going to be communicative and not just walk down the hall and grunt at you. I always said if I was going to get a general manager job, I had to have the right person. Going back, I had Mike Smith first, right? For seven yep. years. Mike won coach a year five, or sorry, three times out of five years. Really good football coach. We moved on to Dan Quinn. And, and Dan Quinn's approach was aggressive, accountable, 
authentic, but in your face too, right? He was a tough enough guy that he loved fights, right? He's a big fight guy. We, by the way, we had him in Cuba one time. Uh, Arthur Blank and, uh, and myself and a couple guys had him down there. He, he was literally sparring with a guy. Uh, I love it. Sparring with a welterweight, some champion in Cuba. <laughs> We're sitting there smoking cigars, drinking, getting wasted on, on rum. I, I'm not a rum guy, so I was uh, obviously that didn't work out real well. But Dan, <laughs> coming, coming back to Dan Quinn, Dan Quinn always had that, pr that element to him. And I think now he goes into Washington with everything that I knew, tough, direct, doing his thing. And he's got Adam Peters, first time general manager. Adam wants a guy that he can work with. Adam, in my mind, you guys can say whatever you want to say about, uh, about um, uh, what's his name from Detroit? My gosh. I'm, uh, Holmes? No, Dan Campbell. Dan, Dan Campbell. No, the guy who's gonna, who was going to take the job in, uh, in. Oh, Ben Johnson. Sorry, Ben Johnson. Yeah. Gosh, that's horrible. I'm only 57. No, ben Johnson. But in my mind, I'm glad that Dan got there for Adam Peters because Ben is a first-timer. You have two neophytes in that role. I think you bring in a guy like Dan. He's going to be so good. He loves scouting. He loves evaluating players. You know, if he ever were to get out of this, you guys need to have him because he is a fantastic guy that can give you some great insight and probably make you guys a ton of money on your on your wagers. But anyway, I love Dan, and I, I wish the best for him for sure. And you and Dan put together a hell of a staff, including Kyle Shanahan. Thomas, help us understand, when the media, what we get from Shanahan can be a little cantankerous, can be a little curt. You know Kyle Shanahan well. We know he's brilliant. Help us understand the coach of the 49ers. All right, so look, this is my feeling. When he worked with us, he was our, he was our coordinator, of course. And remember, he had the track record of not getting along with general manners. Uh, that was a big thing for him, and I was really cognizant of that, and I was trying to weigh, my, my, you know, weigh myself around that and trying to navigate. We argued about one player. There was a guy named Levine Taloilo. If you guys are football fans, big, tight, tight end, 6'8". I used to think, by the way, I'd tell Matt Ryan, you put that ball up as high as you can. No one listened to me, right? I'm like, I, I just told him we could jump ball the guy all the time. <laughs> but I, but, I, but on, on, on where we were with, with Kyle, Kyle brilliant. Kyle knows how to put the, the talent around his scheme, just like Bill Belichick. I'm not comparing him, but Bill was great with that. Kyle was very good that way. I think Kyle, let me say this publicly, gentlemen, if I came back as a general manager, I would definitely consider trading for a coach, first thing. And he would be a guy that would be high on my list to consider because I think he has a lot of abilities. That said, this game is unbelievably important for him, I think. What is his record, by the way, in postseason? I think it's it's substantial. Eight and something? Eight and four? I know he's one. I know he's five and zero oh at home. Yeah. That I do know. Okay. In the postseason, we were saying this is a legacy game for Kyle. It's I a, think this a, is the I pressure's agree. on Kyle. I'm all, the I pressure's agree. on Kyle completely. And I think he can do it. I think he can. I don't know if where 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 you guys are on that, but I think he can. And he's he's you know he's just one of those guys that is going to have to take it to the next level to be considered, you know, in that top two or four or five or whatever it is. Raheem He's Moore. eight and three in the postseason, so you're 100 okay. percent right. Let's let's continue that conversation. They're two point favorite, the 49ers, against the defending champs. Thomas, does that feel right to you that the fact that the 49ers are favored here? It does. It, it does. As much as I as much as I like Brett Veach and how they do things, we can talk about that. I love the, the builds of both of these groups with John Lynch and Brett Veach is so important in my mind. I think. You know, I do think I, I just I, 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 I weigh towards the 49ers on this. And uh, I don't know. Do you guys think it should be a few more points? <laughs> we thought are... it should be closer to a pick em. I, OK. Oh, OK. Interesting. Yeah. So we thought to go the other way. You're a big gambler now. Second halves in the <laughs> NBA. You know what we're talking about. Don't, don't, don't act no, like you don't know I what don't. a pick em is. No, I, I'm trying to I'm play, playing a little coy here. I mean, I have a little bit more of an understanding. But again, I uh, love it. Love that you guys think it should be a pick em. Give us your perspective. Who's the winner Sunday Sunday night? Who's hosting hoisting the Lombardi? Look, I, I still I still think um, um I think San Francisco's in that spot where it's time for them to do their business. And look, I don't know about you guys. During this year, I was a little frustrated with, of course, you start talking about Taylor Swift, but I was thinking about all the other distractions. Remember, I I'm coming from the Patriot paradigm at one time. Of course, that's not my personality, uh, which is a whole other story. But but meaning, um, you know, I'm I'm a little more open-minded about a lot of things. But I was just thinking about the distractions there. Every time I turned around, the commercials. I mean, we're talking about French fries and, and, you know, coach doing these things. And I'm just like, gosh, there's so many distractions here. How are they going to do it? And I just think in the end, I think San Fran is really focused on this game. And I think, I think it's theirs. But 
Well, congratulations on Sumer Sports. A lot of buzz. It's a football intelligence company offering innovative football solutions using data-driven solutions. At Sumer Sports CEO, you can check out. Make sure you do a Google search. You'll check it out. You're really going to enjoy it. Thomas Dimitrov, be careful on Fremont Street, and thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate you. Thank we you appreciate very much. that. Thomas Dimitrov, that's awesome. Made the effort to come all the way over to say hi. Want an edge for betting the Super Bowl? Click the link in the description to download VSIN's free betting guide. 